So, so basically, uh, when that standard gets taken away and there's no more cops to call, we're not on one. People don't get it. And the people who have, who have abused this system the most is by far you women. Yep. That's that's who's gonna get it the most. I ain't even talking about you hoes. You hoes is gonna get it, man. Yep. And that's the, that's part of the evil in the latter days because our people are constantly uh, came back and went off and came back and went off. So Moses is speaking about the latter days. He wasn't speaking about 40 years in the wilderness. Or, 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 or the world, or the world who saw some men die, or Uzziah, or, or, or Rome, or Greece. I'm speaking about the latter days, man. I was saying, this Rome is incorporated within that because Yahweh was there. He wasn't, he wasn't speaking about battles on the beat of Persian Empire. He was speaking about these times, man. Yep. In the last days. Because in these days, people are going to see hey, things that no one's ever expected before, man. In the ancient world, I got you. So, what? This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe to the world. Is that word? Woe means grief, destruction, death, hard times. For the sword and their destruction draweth not. The sword and their destruction draweth not. Well, there's going to be nothing but swords being swung in America. Basically, people, people shooting back and forth, throwing bricks, rocks, fighting, <laughs> anything, man. Yep. Right, what you see, people right now are prepared for it. And this is why it's going to be so bad to the point where Michael can have to stand up. In the ancient world, men were bred to be men because people needed warriors to protect their village or their land or whatever, man. That's right. But in America, everybody thinks, oh, it's a lot of a lot. Hugs and kisses. And so, and so men grew up to be what? Homosexual. The women grew up with blue hair, they fat as hell, feminist and everything. And people hate each other and everything. No one works together. Because no one's expecting for a nation to come and invade this place. In the ancient world, you think about that. If somebody might come through. We got to have women on deck to have children with. And we got we to have men, strong men who can fight. In America, hey, the people are taught to just be lazy and fat. Do as thou wilt. Exactly. Do as thou wilt. And just in a lazy, decadent way. Yep. Right? And that's made the people hey, just hella docile and hella just basically believing in a lot. Believing that everything is just hugs and kisses. When yep. worldwide, there's somebody right now getting blown up, hey, tortured by the CIA, beat the hell up. If these things are going to happen over here, they're going to come to this happy to go lucky place within one day. No one, imagine being a Bible, be, a Bible believing Christian, talking about love every day, and then know what somebody busting your house, and maybe dying on your feet, beat your ass, and taking God, and maybe your wife is going to kill you, and rape you again. You want to fuck the hell up? Yep. If I can say this too, huh? America is the only city, and it was even prophesied this too in the scriptures, this is the only city without walls, without borders, man. I mean, without uh, some type of uh, defense, man. Okay? The only city, just going, uh, loosely backing up what the brother was going into, man. Yeah, all the other cities back in the ancient days, man, especially Jerusalem, we were known for having high walls, man. Very, very, very high walls that uh, our adversaries, our enemies couldn't get around, okay? Archers was just ready, just, just taking them down, you know? And so the way, uh, the pride of the, pride of the Edomites, man, has made it to where people just make it, you know, they're just walking around here, happy-go-lucky, but not a care in the world, you know? Without, they don't think that this place can't get, uh, can't be touched, all right? That's why they call it the Virgin, the Virgin uh, Babylon, okay? But guess what, man? <laughs> you gonna get popped. It's somebody that is gonna be, uh, that is, that the Lord is drawing to set up to take you down, man, okay? You and your pride. But not to digress too much, uh, you got a precept you want to bring up? Back in Isaiah 13 and 14, it shall be as a chaste road, and the chief that no man take it up, it shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one unto his own land. Every man is going to turn to their own people. So even though you got uh, Edomite homies right now that, that you think are cool or this and that and other, they're going to leave you the hell alone and they're going to all join up with all the Edomites. All the Issacharites gonna roll with all the Issacharites, and all the Judas or the so-called Negroes are all gonna go their way. Everybody gonna split up, and that's where that race riot, that race war is gonna start, man. Look at if you if you think about it, man. Go back to the uh, a few years ago. Go back to Hurricane Katrina, man. Okay, Hurricane Katrina was straight raw madness, man. And they put a lot of stuff on TV, but they didn't put nowhere near all the things and the uh, things that were going down. People were getting raped in the Superdome where they were having uh, refugees or, or people that were holding up they, uh, in all the little shelters and places around there. Niggas was just going around just taking people, just, just raping them. See, and, and look, 
that's what happens in a, in a lot of this situation. Like, uh, uh, like with them dealing with them in prison, right? Uh, basically, basically when, uh, whenever there's tension within a pod, all the blacks go with the blacks, they can go with the next, the whites go with the whites. It's life or death. Now, who who you trust more than somebody who was just like you? Exactly. Yep. So, in a life or death situation, people, like, bro, I'm gonna get my people, I'm gonna But in America, people don't face life or death situations really ever. Everybody just go to school, go to work, and that's the health to it. But in these days, it's going to come a time where men are going to have to show themselves men. But, but the men in Babylon are become as women. Yep. The men in Babylon, they, they're all trendy, they're all uh, sodomized, they're feminine. A lot, a lot of so called black men are feminine, man. Man, soft, man. Yeah. Boy lovers, man. Lady boys. boys. Yep. <laughs> and, it's, and, it, and it is what it is, man. It's just true. It's just true. And a lot of people can't have the truth, they don't want to hear about it. But hey, man, it is what it is. Somebody's got to tell it, okay? Somebody's got to say something. Somebody's got to stand up and blow the whistle, throw the yellow flag, man, okay? Because and that's and that's exactly where it's coming out, man. The scriptures is on point. You know, right now you think little Jimmy, little Johnny is is uh, you know you want to be buddy buddy and join hand in hand with him, you know, or go or go play with a uh, little Yusuf. You know, and think and, and think that everything's gonna be hunky dory when the lights go out. Let 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 no food let, let no food come into this place for three three weeks, man. Let them let them them trucks stop for a month, man. And see and see how uh, see if uh, little Johnny don't bust your head for a can of peaches, bro. And you know that day, Cole Chandler and Gary gonna bench your ass, man. Yeah, and show, and show you and show you how to, show you how they really feel. And then you're gonna see the the true nature of the Edomite come out, man. Of these so-called white people, man. You're gonna see the true nature of how they really get down, man. Okay, yeah, they hide it behind a little face that they got right now, but you already know. That's why the scriptures tell you never trust your enemy, man. But you don't even think that they're your enemy because of how many smooth, because his lips are smoother than butter, man. Smoother than oil. All right. He's good, and he can tell you all these different types of lies and shit like that, so you don't think that you can't see him coming. Okay, but let's get back to the scriptures. Read out. Isaiah uh, 13 and 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Mm -hmm. Everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. That's right. Hold that right there. And, and this is not nice. It doesn't sound nice at all. It doesn't sound nice and warm and fuzzy, because it's not, man. Okay? These are the things that are to come. These are prophecies that are to come, man. And it's going to happen right here on U.S. soil. And it's coming to a neighborhood near you. Okay? This is not a game, as we done said time and time again. But yeah, you still got bonehead, knee poop simpletons walking around thinking that ain't nothing going to touch this place. They think that they're going to have multiple generations. They're going to have graduations and, and weddings and all these different types of things. And little Susie's going to grow up. And she's gonna do no man. It's gonna come to a complete halt, man. Like when you go on real fast and somebody suddenly just hit the brakes on you and it's just ah! it's gonna be ended, man. And it's gonna a lot of y'all are gonna get cause y'all sleep right now, y'all gonna get caught like a thief in the night, Jack. And like Forrest Gump said, that's all I got to say about that. Read. Uh priest or do I get back in my face? Uh Actually, I want to finish this in Ezra's real quick. I mean, unless you got some more on Isaiah. But this is going to go right into it. So I'll, I'll actually go into this one. This is 2 uh, Ezra chapter um, 15 and 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and the swords in their and swords in their hand. Uh, so the sword and destruction draw nigh, meaning it's coming. But if you just, if you just look at geopolitics and, the, and, the, and the look at every single society, Beforehand, you see history repeating itself. You, 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 if, if you just know history and, and really, and really just know, know the human nature and, and basically basic rudimentary geopolitics, you can see that a big collapse is coming on a global scale. Right. Like, you know the rudimentary things about uh, trade and wars. You see that uh, that evil, bad times is coming, man. To the sword draw the knot, and then the one people shall fight against the other people. And once again. One shit get what's the one thing gets gets a point of violence, man. Like in prison, what happens? Everybody goes with their own people. If there's two Chinese dudes in the crowd, they're gonna join, join together and with the people who look most like them. Yep. It's gonna be who? So called white man. Why is that? Because when it comes to violence in the time of life or death, you make up with who you can trust. Or who you think you can trust. Done. Verse 16. 
For there shall be sedition among men. Sedition among men. Separation. Everybody talks about love and coming together. The most, first of the most I made different, he made with 18 different nations, all these languages, and the Tower of Babel, when everybody came together with him, he got, was happy about it, he did get mad and split them all up. Split them all up. Because the most I want, once there to be a separation, but because yeah, people are right. coming together and doing all, and doing all these different uh, wicked uh, imaginations, man, and like the internet is wicked imagination. So because the people came together and made these different wicked inventions, all right, uh, the most I is going to send a uh, sedition among you uh, for war, and, he, and he's going to send plates upon you, man. And the sword, famine, the famine of the word, the famine of the water, bread, food. But the worst part is, it's going to be food. You can only get to it under a certain circumstance, man. Take that chip. It's gonna be food. You only get to it, hey, okay, the chip, or if you rouse somebody, kill somebody, get into a life and death fight. And that, 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 that's gonna be crazy. That just walk up to you. You're gonna be getting sin, Jace with some swords in their hands, some actual swords. Hey, because Jake's crazy like that. I, I like swords. <laughs> you know, so in that day, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be like that, man. It's gonna be mass sufficient among people, man. And, and basically, within America, so called white men have divided people into so many different factions. You got Democrats, Republicans, liberals, uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, the, uh, the general right, left. Uh, the, the anarchists or whatever. There's so many different factions, man. So when this thing pops off, man, it's gonna be war literally everywhere, man. Yep. And, and they got people who like Xbox, PlayStation. They gonna fight. Good. They fight now. There's niggas in the hood right now. Yeah. Fighting them. Blood, they fight man. Yeah. <laughs> There's sedition Colors. everywhere, man. <laughs> but there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. And invading one another, man. Hey, some people gonna bust in your house, man. Take your stuff. Hey man, if you can people with some military equipment busting in your house, you can call the armies here. Really, it's Jeff, it's Greg, it's that Edomite Greg from down the street who's been waiting for this thing for the past two years. Yep. They're gonna bust in your house, house and take they can eat rice. There's, there's people called truthers, man. And they're waiting for it, and what they say is like a it's like, it's like a family and stuff. Look, they're saying that they're saying it's sick and it's fly away, but they basically getting ready to kill you niggas. And you, and you saw the history, like you so called Negroes and Latinos. God. That's what the so-called white man's always does. He'll, he'll gear up with you when time comes. He don't hit you before you hit him. Yep. If I can say this too, man, they, they, the, the elites, man, they know what's going on. That's why they're showing you and they're preparing you. Um, you know, they're showing you in these movies what they're about to do to you, man. Just like the brothers going into, man. That movie, The Purge, man. That movie, The First Purge. Esau ain't gonna be invading you. They're just gonna be coming. They're just gonna have killing parties, man. Yeah. They're just gonna send killing parties. It's gonna be coming from floor to floor, just murking niggas, man. Just killing Jakes for no reason, man. Just to be doing it. They're just gonna be killing you just to be killing you, man. You know? You, you, you bonehead Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Y'all need to wake up. Wake up. It's coming. It's right here on the doorstep, man. Okay? I got some more on that. Um, invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall shall stand in their power. That's happening right now. Everybody's saying, fuck the police, fuck the president. Everybody's just saying, basically, bump anybody with any just the power, man. Yep. Anarchy. It's going to be anarchy. It's going to be blood and shit. It's going to be, it's, that day is going to be tough. Because, hey, man, it's, it, that day the prison's might open. You know, hey, hey, Angel might go down and let, and, let, and, let, and let out every masculine security person in the jail. And then once, once, once he goes in the street, the spirit might leave him until he got to the CO's house, man. God, and if I can say this too, man, I, I know I keep I keep mentioning this government shutdown, but let, let Trump allow this government shutdown to go on longer than six months. Let it go a year. Let it go two years. Then you're going to see this prophecy come to fruition a lot faster than you expect, man. You're gonna see raiding amongst the, uh, each other, man. You're gonna see friends that used to be friends go in and, and pull kick doors, man. Go in there because they're gonna be hungry, man. Ain't no more, ain't no more government assistance. Ain't gonna be no more help, okay? Which, what are you, what are you doing to prepare yourself? All the guns in the world are not gonna save you from this thing, man. Also, also, uh, uh, if I can say this, it happens already whenever there is food. It happens already whenever people do have money. People rob somebody for some people with, hey, everything is good right hey, like two years ago, <laughs> no government shut down, there was nothing. They was hidden leaks because some, some somebody might have an Xbox, they want it, they don't take it. So how much more whenever it's not a want, it's a need? Things are gonna get bad out here. Once again, in America, everybody already expects the worst to happen. Because in America it's a home of bro broken genes and, and the distrust and unloads. That's why right now everybody out here has every door locked for their house, for their car. Because no one no one has any trust, man. 
because they already know that uh, uh, that that uh, there's certain people that go around doing what? Check on locked doors. Yep. So people are so people are already doing. Call all y'all about shit, y'all shot. And so people already do it because they because they want to, or or or, or for something that would that would just I don't know for a want. How much more when their food is in need? How much more when their shelter is in need? You see? Hey, mm -hmm. these days people are gonna say that they're too colored. Cause anybody, hey, this is true right now with suits on and kindergarten teaching your children to go home and that was kitty porn on their computers. There's two people right now in the president. They dead, they've all these outlandish gay parties. They, they go on the screen and tell you, you know, like on the session is, we don't do this with that, we don't do blood, no, that's it. Murder, put them in jail. I think they're all about cold stories and murder everything. Hey, see, everybody that's too colored is not going to come out. Yep. Every single person who, who, who thinks he's a stand up guy, he's going to be a goddamn monster. Hey, Especially from the so called white people. And low key, that was. That was actually spiritual right there. Everybody out here running around, frolicking and playing like there's nothing going on. And then, just like that, judgment just happened. Riding around on those damn scooters and fell out and busted her ass. That's exactly how you gonna get, how you people, man. Two thirds of these people that's on this sign gonna get caught up, man. You gonna get caught like a thief in the night. Just like you said in the days of, uh, in the days of Noah, man. You know? Noah was out there telling them, hey, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. Everybody thought they was crazy. Everybody thought Noah was crazy, man. Until it rang. Until it rang. Okay. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> so that was that was beautiful, man, that that just happened. I wish we could have gotten it on camera, you know? Yeah, yeah man. That's how you bonehead and eat you, you simpletons out here believe, man. You just think that shit's going to continue on forever and ain't nothing going to happen when we are reading the prophecies right out of the book, man. And the thing is, these prophecies are coming, they're coming to pass right before your very eyes, man. The people don't want to believe in the Bible. They don't want to believe in the book. They don't even want to crack it. Okay? They just walk by. Walk by and snicker and smile. Well, you know, you mark yourself, man. <laughs> really, most people, most people don't believe because it's serious. That's really, that's, really like, like, that's really one of the big parts about it, man. Because if it was a so, so white man out there in the suit doing this, everybody would just come to listen. God bless you, sir. I agree. Y'all, they'd be like, hey, they have hella subscribers. But because, but because it's the world's most uh, so-called undesirable people, man, everybody sees it and brushes it off, especially our, for our own people. Mm -hmm. I have this in Isaiah 13. Right? Bring it up. Isaiah 13 and 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Yep. Their children are going to get dashed to pieces, man. Little Bobo and, and, and little, and little uh, Nancy, they're going to get destroyed, man. They're gonna, and that's that's gonna be a hard uh, uh, a hard scene for uh, a lot of Jakes to take, man. You know, because Jake has compassion. You know, but the Lord is gonna put the spirit on us to be able to endure that. You know, watching a little baby get dashed to pieces, man, get just beat against the stone, man. But you know that that has to happen because that's gonna be that's gonna be recompense for that happening to us when we were in captivity, man. Okay. Go ahead. Kind of says. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is gonna happen. Hey, it happens and now. How much? How much more? Hey, to right now, people, people are still thinking about it. I'm going to jail. I'm under my camera somewhere. How much? How much gonna happen when all that's sitting out the window? Yep. All the like, cameras, no cameras, no cops. Esau ain't gonna be there to protect you in that day. Exactly. Nope. They gonna be the one ravishing. The ones yeah. that wear that, that little badge, they call themselves the police, that gang that they call the police. They gonna be the one ravishing. Hey, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a goddamn snake, man. Hey, man, he, 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 he don't have a goddamn cops to go on, man. Knock through your door and say, yes, man, it's okay, we're here now. And the president's going to say, oh, thank God the police. Oh, we're waiting for you. And then that fake cop, or Esau, who might be a little cop before him, he's going to kill the dude and rape the wife. Yep. That's, that's, that's what Esau does. He's goddamn every, snake. Every single time, man. Every time. And all of you, you, you video vixens, you, you Instagram models, you, you social media chicks that, that like to have your ass out all on TV or all over on the internet, man. You know? Yeah, guess what? There's niggas that's watching you. There's niggas that's in your DM and all of them. They gonna find you in that time, man. They gonna find you and they gonna take They gonna take you, man, in that day. They gonna, and there ain't gonna be no remorse. And there's gonna be nobody to help you. All that, all that advertisement you got going on. Bring it out. Fine. It says, I'll read it again, Isaiah 13, 16. It says, The children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Mm -hmm. The houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. This is going to happen now. Yep. 
Hey, it's gonna happen. Hey, it's, it's gonna be a time that the world hasn't seen before, man. Hey, hey, because, because, because like within slavery and tears and everything, it was really one people afflicting another people. But this time, it's gonna go both ways. Yep. And then, then it's gonna be foreign troops. And also in slavery, there were there weren't any nukes or bombs or you know, and everyday people didn't have grenades. Hey, I remember I was in uh, I think it was the 10th grade, and my friend's uncle showed he showed me all these guns and automatic shot. He had military great weapons in his garage. So he, again, it was a rundown house, broke jelly, were dirty. In the garage, he had a he had grenades. Yeah, all that. Yep. Hey, so hey. Uh, also, one time, uh, I had another friend when I was in high school. Uh, he had, he had told me that him that, 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 that him and his crew were at the train tracks, and they, they saw a train with RPGs in it, and somebody took one and took it back to their house. Yep. Hey, so people people that's why it's gonna be worse than anything before, because people people right now go to war and see explosions and death and all things on fire blowing up like that and come back home with PTSD. But now it's it's, it's, it's just gonna be here. Gonna be on your own front door. Right and they have nowhere to go. Yep. Those 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 uh hand grenades, those RP RPGs, all those weapons, they're not just meant to sit in a museum, man. Yeah. They're not just meant to sit in some little locker, you know, just in, just for show. They're gonna be used. They're meant to be used. And and that demon is going to use them, man. Because that was his blessing. The Edomite, that was his blessing, the sword. So he's going to put that together, and it's not just going to be Esau doing killing. Jake going to be getting down, too. Okay? It's just going to be unbearable, man. Unbearable. There's going to be a lot of bloodshed and a lot of doom and gloom in, that, in those times. And, yeah, you may not like to hear about it, but it's coming. It's prophecy. Okay? That's a prophecy that has to come out. I got a, I got 19 on um, Ezra, so it's going to go right into that, too. If I'll bring it out. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse... Uh, I'm going to start at... Started at uh, 17 and read down. This is uh, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Was, they, they show you this in all the different movies, man. As soon uh, uh, as all it takes is one event, it's one event in one city, the whole country to go, to go into a state of lockdown, man. All it takes six is one event in one place for the whole country to go into a state of uh, checkpoints. Hey, yeah, checkpoints, get uh, a whole new ID system. They show you, they show you this in the movies, man. It's these things are being, with these things, somebody just make it up. They, they get it from the, from what they know is going to come. Yep. And then also a lot of, many producers, you know, producers and new writers and everything, they get their ideas from the shoes. And they yep. say this a lot, but no one ever listens. So they just think, oh, uh, you know, Terminator was a cool movie. It's cool how he made that up. He, uh, the, creator, the creator of Terminator 2 with that scene where she on a gate, she got blue to pieces and everything. He said they said that in a dream. But that, that's in the book of Zechariah. Yep. The fire burned them while they're on their feet. She's on her feet holding the gate, and the fire burnt to all the flesh away, man. Yep. That's in the scriptures. It's not a fairy tale, man. It's, it's true. And it's, the, it's funny that you mention that, you know. Um, I had a guy last night I was, I was I was on Xbox One Live with. I was playing a game or whatever. And he just started just talking about things that how he was feeling and, and, and how he's been thinking about things and all the stuff that he was talking about, all this death, mass murder, destruction and all the things like that were all in the scriptures, man. I was just I was just quoting the scriptures as he was bringing it up. Man, this is going to happen. This is going to go down. Yeah. So these people know, man, the, the information is out there. These people know these people are waking up to, to what's going on and getting hip to it. So, you know, with that type of vibration that something is utterly about to go down, man. All through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I hope very soon, man. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm real quick, you see, a lot of people know, but there's two things. Either, but either they don't know what to do, or they're uncertain because there's people that is, Israelites that go out there who don't have the 100% truth, yep. or, 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 or they're just doing, well, hey, same thing, I don't believe, or, but, uh, but they don't have 100% truth, and there's some random upstarts somewhere who, uh, who didn't study. They just went out there reading the Bible and saying, and saying whatever come, comes to their mind, man. And those people like that have a lot of blood in their hands, man. Maybe because we, we're not doing this to be seen as men. I might be on camera. I stutter. This is embarrassing for me. I'd be out here. Uh, this, 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 this is fun, man. We've been doing this because the Alba Hashim Yahushai told us, uh, told his servants, told his, his friends, as the Alba Hashim said, if you do my business, you're not my servant, you're my friend. Yeah. So the Alba Hashim told his people, hey, do this and I got you. That's what we're doing. A lot of people don't even. Believe. A lot of people that preach really, really don't, don't even believe. Nope. IYC, they don't believe. Hey, uh, UPK, 
I feel like some of them might, but a lot of people in the UK don't even believe it's just a, hey, it's just a bunch of convicts that got out and had, had some friends who were no cowards, nigga. That's, that's yeah. that jail shit, man. Trying to be a part of a, a, a fad, man. This ain't this ain't no uh, uh, what do you call it, man? This ain't no fraternity. You know, this ain't no you know nothing like that at all. We're doing the work. We're doing this out here to make our calling and our election sure, man. We're making ourselves a living sacrifice for the Lord for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So we can we can uh, you know get delivered in that day, man. In those times, man. That's why we're out here doing what we're doing. And you know what? There's gonna be a lot of you guys that that do, you know, that go out on the highways and the byways and preach, you know, light up the, the the show on fire, man. Come out, know every precept, know every Bible uh, 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 breakdown. But then you're gonna get found out. In that time when it actually goes down, that you're gonna get scared, man. You ain't gonna be able to take. You ain't gonna be able to take it because you didn't. You weren't really building yourself up inwardly, man. Okay. Elder Yashuamba uh, spoke on that and did a, a, a beautiful lesson about that, man. But it's true though, because a lot of you guys are not. Uh, you really don't believe. You're not serious about this thing, yo. You're not serious, and your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna gut check you, man, and he's gonna weed you out. Straight up, Jack. This is this is not for the faint of heart, man. This is this is this is not something to just be just be doing just because you you want to look good for all the likes and for all the views on YouTube, you know. A lot of Jakes be trying to do this, try to try to get out here and do this work, just to try to get trying to get some box, man. You know, to try to look cute for for uh you know for Maria. Yeah, man. See, dude, I know so much, babe. No one cares. What's that? What's that gonna do whenever, whenever the angels come down, man? What, what's, what, what is, what is knowing so much gonna do if you don't, if you, if you don't really believe in it, man? See, a lot of people are just, are just full of really is because of miracles and dust makers. Man. Hey, once again, but once again, a lot of people already know uh, who to boy or what GMS is gonna validate. And basically, a lot of people already know about 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 the followers of the Yahweh Shai, uh, the followers of the and the truth, and but people just get caught up within the world. People try and bring worldly things into the church. So don't mix. That's why pe people see, see bros and GMS. Oh, this guy is so weird. This is out there. To be a man of the Lord, you have to be out there, man. The prophet Isaiah prophesied naked for three years straight. So if, if a dude come out here right now naked, prophesying, you like, I'm going to this, this nigga bugged out. Yep. This nigga out here dangling, trying to tell me I need to repent. But that was a man of the Lord. The, the, the prophet Ezekiel was on his side for what? Uh, months at a time, he didn't done. Yep. To be a man of the Lord, you gotta be out there. You gotta be a out the type of dude because hey, the man of the Lord created the earth, man. They created everything. The only thing we see every day average Joe Schmo ass niggas, man. Yep. Excuse my language, but that's, 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 that's what it is. Who else? Uh, this uh, is out, out, out like, hey, the prophet Jeremiah. He imagine being you, you 80, uh, you, uh, you 50 years old, with a, you got five, ten kids or whatever, and you, and you own a company and everything, and then you see an eight year old kid telling you to repent. You can be like, you can be like what the hell does this nigga know about life? Yep. But that was the man of the Lord. That was the man of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Yep. But 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 because but because uh, uh, that in that scenario, a fifty year old man, everything had things on lockdown carnally, He completely blew away the spirit. And the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is like in peace, and it's and it's uh, it's unbeatable. That's why the prophets out there every weekend, and, uh, excuse me, all the time, and they put the concourse, and no one could confound them. Yep. Give him a mouth with a uh, that none of his adversaries could gainsay, man. That's why everybody tried to kill it, yes, because everybody was like, man, these niggas always saying, 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 they can't even say nothing. They're like, they're talking, saying something. Saying so, yeah. you know what? It was just something. Hey, 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 even, hey, matter of fact, the first Kings 22, they could go through the Rock of the Shah. It was one king, I think it was the king of Judah, who, uh, 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 who, has, who has said that there was a prophet of Yahweh, but he didn't like him because, because he had some evil concern in me. And then they yeah. went, and then they went and, and then, then they went and got Micaiah and said, Hey Micaiah, tell us tell us who's gonna win. And then I say 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 nothing wrong with him. Micaiah was like, Oh, you gonna die. And then a servant punched him in the face and they threw him in jail for it. He was like, You asked me, I ain't gonna lie to you. But but hey, hey, as soon as it happened, the fucking king was like, You see, I told you I'm talking man, he can tell me some evil on my name. Hey, hey, uh, if they happened right now in 2019, he'd be like, I told you I, got it. I told you think we're gonna talk shit about me. Okay. I got yeah. it. This is uh first Kings chapter twenty two, verse seven. And it's actually, yeah, I'll start at seven. And Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides that we might inquire of him? A prophet of the Lord, because, because, because in this uh, scenario, and excuse me, in this historical account, before this, uh, there, were, there were prophets of like, well, all prophets of whoever the hell, but they're like, Well, look, is there a prophet of the hour somewhere? 
<laughs> oh, he's wrong. Get out of there. Khan. What would the self? Awesome. Khan. In verse 8. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man, uh, Micaiah, the son of, of Imlah, by whom we may inquire of the Lord. But I hate him. <laughs> but I hate him. For he does not prophesy good concerning me, and but today, evil. And, and today, son, he, he, he said, I mean, I know somebody, but he always talking shit. I don't like him. Yeah, oh, hey, man. He always yeah. hate that ass dude. <laughs> yeah, see, and that's how Jake think, man. Jake can think just uh, <laughs> just like it says in Galatians, Galatians 4, 16. Am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? <laughs> get, get that for me, my boy, son. Yes. If you, am, I, am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? Jake are getting their feelings, man, when you try to tell them about them. You know, but yet they can go do any all types of cooning and buffooning and, 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 and fuckery, man. You know, but then don't want to hear, don't want to get told about themselves, man. How are we supposed to grow as a nation if nobody wants to, if nobody can't take rebuke? Okay, if if, if, if the king wasn't being, he was being a whole ass nigga, man, and the prophet was letting them have it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna tell you about yourself, man. Yeah, we're gonna tell you you going off. Yeah, we're gonna tell you to get right, man. Okay? That's what we're supposed to do. That's what the Lord called. That's why the Lord put his watchman there to watch his sheep, man. If there's if there's a sheep bugging out doing something, then we go, of course you're gonna go over there and take uh, and, and fix that and check up on that issue. We're supposed to as men of the Lord. <laughs> Alright? Right. Bring it out, brother. Galatians 416. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yeah, man. It's exactly what the scriptures say, you see? Why? Why I gotta be your enemy? Why you gotta? Why I gotta be a hating ass nigga? Because I'm giving you true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I'm showing you love all through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, according to the scriptures, to the source, man. Okay, it's not some wonderful, bubbly, woozy feeling you get. I'm showing you love, man. Okay, the Edomites ain't gonna do that. The other, these other heathen nations ain't gonna do that. Okay. Now, why do you give you gifts? Because it gift destroys it. Because Esau knows it's a spirit. He, a, it destroys the heart. Es Esau already knows that he, he people to do whatever he wants to be. If he just gives them some fucking crumbs, man. Like for example, uh, the book of Pinocchio, which I was happy, you know, that he busted the ball and into it. And that's a kid. I was scared of it. Cause I was like, this is some scary shit. But the busted the ball is going into it like this isn't the kids' movie at all. And basically, uh, basically, it was some it was a fox and the cat, which are known being slight creatures or whatever, man. Basically, they had gold in their hand. They were like, oh, we are scamming niggas and we are doing it big. And then it was a dude with blonde hair and blue eyes and a red suit, a Rothschild, the word Rothschild, red shield. He had blonde hair and blue eyes. That was Edomite. And, 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 and he was sitting there smoking, looking at him. He was like, well, look, if y'all want to make some real money, you got a big bag of it, do what I said. And that's what Esau does. A gift destroys your heart. Yep. And that's what the Silver White man, that's his history, man. Just bribing, bribing people, uh, uh, really with stolen goods. You better go see it with somebody else. And then keep uh, 90 versus 98 percent, 95 percent of it for themselves. So you one percent, you're like, oh my goodness. Yep. Oh. If I could say this too, you know, Jake is Jake is Jake will do that. Our people are like that, man. They get destroyed and get caught up in, the, in, in it, trying to catch the bag. Prime example, Anas and Anaya Safari, Anias and his wife Safari, man. Right? You know, try yeah. to try to keep back some money, man, and, and lie to the prophets. And what happened? They got they got put to death. They got called to the spirit world immediately, right after that. You know? I still got that in uh, Kings, if you want to go into that still. Oh. Is that all you want? Um, okay, this is first, uh, first Kings chapter 22, verse uh, 8. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat that there is one man, uh, Micaiah, that the son of Imlah, by whom we may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him, for he doth not pr uh, prophesy good concerning me, but evil. I hate him because he because he doesn't lie to me. Basically, that's basically what this king see. People like this shouldn't have any type of status in the world. But the whole side shit is up. Smooth things. Like, uh, that, Isaiah thirty. <laughs> hey, he wanted to hear smooth things. This king, uh, he had terrible judgment because he. This man told him the truth. This man, he was telling him things to help him out. But this man, who's supposed to be a king over people and judge people a certain way and have the economy moving within a certain structure, he got mad because he was telling them, "Well, look, if you do that, it's not going to work." Right. You should be happy about that. Hey, the water for the advice. Mm -hmm. This nigga was like, that's this nigga hating. Anybody hating on you, man. Yep. But okay, our people, uh, I'm looking for, I gotta preach it real quick about that. Bring it out. Our people, this is uh, Jeremiah 4 and 22. 
Matter of fact, uh, Jeremiah 4, 21. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? The prophet Micaiah was going to trumpet on his ass. Yep. It says, my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sought as children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So instead of hearkening unto Micaiah, he said, hey, 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 you know what? I the water. How about Shimei al I got you. He was like, nigga, hey, threw him in a dungeon. Actually, one of his other servants punched him in the face. He just punched him in the Lord in the face, bro. Yep. And then threw him into a dungeon because he told you, he's trying to help your ass up. Yep. And, you know, according, and, and the, the prophets, uh, the scriptures say that that's going to happen to us in the latter days too, man. You know, that's going to happen to us. But that's, you know, that's, that's at a different time and that's a different topic. No. But, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how our nation is, man. Okay, two thirds of you niggas, you Negroes, Latinos, man, Native Americans, y'all, y'all are all, y'all all, all want to hear lies, lies, lies. You want to hear about all how you're gonna be blessed and how you're gonna receive this and receive that. Well, well, okay, the Lord is about balance, man. <laughs> okay, you can't always have all the good and then not have no bad. You know, the scriptures tell you that a false weight is an abomination. Okay. So why, why, why do you always want to hear, hear about all the good shit, man? When somebody's trying to give you the real rope testing for something that's going to really kill what you got going on. Okay? Uh, Jake, Jake don't want to hear it, man. Uh, Our people have been like that from the beginning. And that's why you've always went into captivity. That's why the Lord always beating your ass, man. Okay? Yeah, which one? Which uh, naturally, no one, no one wants a uh, bad thing to happen to them or this and that. But truthfully, pain is a very good thing. And through pain, you'll grow it. You'll grow a lot. So pain, actually, as a nation, we wouldn't be the way that we are now. We we didn't go through uh, all, all this all this pain. Man. I'm speaking of the I'm thinking of the men and how about Shmuel Shot. That's right. Hey, a lot, a lot of niggas don't learn from the past. But he, hey, Esau will learn from the past. That's why uh, he, he made a whole society based off Rome. But did everything that Rome did wrong a different way, almost everything. But then a lot, a lot of things that Rome did wrong in a different way. He saw learns from the past versus niggas would have just said, oh, just throw it up there the same way as last time. Yep. Hey, hey, because, hey, once, I say this a lot, but the Rothschilds, these elites, they hide themselves and they, and they put in the media that Jeff Bozo is the richest man in the world. Because basically with, uh, within Rome, who were the people that were that kept killing the, uh, the Caesars? Other, 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 even my family's families wanted to be Caesars. Other people who are on a high level. That's why these elites hide themselves, man, because ancient Rome, they're out there, yeah, we run this joint, and they got assassinated, taken over by another eater fight. That's why, that's why Esau hides himself, man. The true rulers of this world hide themselves right now, man. But in our kingdom, everybody going, as soon as the 144 step down, first off, you're going to feel it, Christmas. Secondly, you're going to feel it to the whole world, look, this is what it is. Hey, cause that day, can't, can't, nobody tell, can't nobody tell you how I shot nothing. Can, yep. can, no, first off, if, 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 if you saw, it, because you Isaiah 31. Okay, I'm actually, I'm, not, I'm almost right there. Okay. It's going to be Isaiah 31 and 5. I got you. This is um, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, uh, verse 5. And it says, As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. It says, Birds flying, so will your howl of hosts, your howl of armies defend his people, because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Now, right. you imagine seeing seeing a flock of crows, right? And they're all ten times bigger. If you saw that, you wouldn't you wouldn't say, "Hey, fuck that guy." You would you would you would, hey, whatever you need, bro. You know, and that's how you get how it's shot. I can see ten times. It's gonna be like a hundred times bigger, man. Hey, hey, Ezra, Ezra saw one chariot and couldn't see the end of it. I guarantee that the Most High has certain planets out, there, certain chariots out there bigger than planets, bigger than Jupiter, man. Hey, so uh, our power is gonna be power. You can't tell him though. Now, East, now people, our people don't don't accept it now because that judgment, uh, uh, what's, what's it at? The book of uh, I think it's the book of Malachi. So basically, judgment doesn't go forth ASAP. But the but the, the days to come, to right now, as Yahweh Shai stated, or uh, Ecclesiastes eight, as Yahweh Shai stated, uh, Jerusalem has to be trodden down, and the time of the Gentiles has to be fulfilled. Now, if you ask any Christian pastor what that means, he can't tell you, Jack, uh, Jack, uh, S.A. Chick Honey I see. At the time of the Gentiles, the time that the heathens had slid it from the beginning to rule. The book of Ezekiel is called the Asia, I think it says Asia of the Heathen. Now, hey, once, if you ask any so-called Christian, they're going to say, look, man, just believe in Christ, bro. But at the time of the Gentiles, there was a time where what the Gentiles wanted would come to pass because, hey, everybody got their fair share. 
no, not in our kingdom, but we're going to want a judgment to go out ASAP. Esau's kingdom, Esau wants is no judgment because he, he's, he's trying to escape his own judgment, man. Right. So he, so he doesn't issue out judgment because if that was the case, everybody would say, wait a minute, what about you? But in our kingdom, judgment is going to come ASAP, man. Versus in these days where wickedness has been allowed to just run rampant, man, it's, it's going to be squashed. Okay. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, not executed speedily. therefore the hearts of the